it is time for more Destiny, because we are out of Woohoo! Actually, it's time for Destiny, because we meant to do this last week, before the Division came out, and uh, someone decided to take a vacation. Oops. No, and... someone went on a business trip, and then took a vacation, yes. and is going back on another business trip, <laughs> and then is leaving to Antarctica for a few weeks, and then coming back... Antarctica. And going back on another business trip, and then going on vacation again, I, I can't keep up with Nick anymore. That is... huh, okay. Little known fact, Good the song tip. Rambling Man was originally written about Nick. They traveled in time, met him, saw his schedule, and then went back in time and wrote a hit. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Alright. I think that we uh, should talk about and show off the Season of the Drifter stuff. All right, all right, all right. Uh, our good old friend, the Drifter, uh, everyone's favorite Asian, Matthew McConaughey, <laughs> um, <laughs> is uh, he's up the Pretty stakes, good. and he's made a new version of Gambit. It's called Gambit Prime. Um, well, Jason runs and get his, gets his bounties. I was just going to go actually to him. I, I thought that's where we were going to go, was go see. I mean, I thought so too, but then I remembered I need to change up all my armor and, and stuff to go do it. So. Uh, um, I, didn't, I wasn't going to change armor. I was just going to go say hi to Cool Uncle. Cool Uncle, indeed. So, uh, Gambit Prime, if you played Destiny before, uh, is Gambit, the PvEVP mode. Uh, except instead of it being spread across three rounds, it's one round, um, and you can... Your blockers now serve dual purpose. They block the enemy from, you know, depositing their moats to progress the round, and they can also steal moats uh, from the enemy. Uh, so it becomes a bit more of a, a denial game. And it on top of that, it adds uh, four different... Uh, sub archetypes i guess to the players um <coughs> jason will probably fill me in actually you jason you cover you probably know what all the classes are off the top of your head and sure I will kit myself out with my uh my reaper gear sure so the four classes are invader who obviously is there to go invade the other team uh there is the reaper who is focused on killing enemies for the team Sentry, who is focused on clearing blockers and killing the invader, or at least calling out where the invader is when the invader shows up. And then the collector, who collects moats. Um, these roles are only defined by the gear and armor that you wear. Which I have just put on. I put on a Reaper set. Okay. And so one of the things that you'll be able to see is um, um, is that it has like a plus one or plus two or plus three to Reaper. Um, and based off of the number of those that you have, plus three is the highest and the tier three version that you can get all that armor just came out last Friday. Mm -hmm. um, so the tier three version gives you the biggest bonus uh, to everything, and you know, it's sort of grayed out when you look at it, but you can see what the uh, bonuses are that you get for wearing more pieces of the set with higher bonuses and so on. Uh, there's nothing like you're not locked into a set either, so you can actually do like a little bit of mixing and matching if you That's wanted exactly to be. Exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, so if you wanted to do like a little bit of Reaper and a little bit of Sentry or a Reaper and Collector, you know, uh, Reaper and Invader, Sentry and Invader, whatever it is. You are free to mix and match those pieces, but obviously you won't get the highest set bonus for one set. Um, it's it's interesting. Like it's it's. Bit... I'm gonna I'm gonna set us uh, to go there. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Go ahead and take us there. Um, hi, Nick. Hi. <laughs> Just typed hello and go go go. Um. It's interesting because I, this season as a whole feels like a test bed for future stuff. Because I, I like some of what they're doing this season. I like some of the things that they've got going on, but none of it feels um, 
fully baked. Or that's not the right word, but like, none of it feels necessarily like it's all meant to be a uh, uh, like the same way that like the Black Armory eventually was. Okay, you know, you see what's kind of going on with Black Armory. They there's a way to get gear. They added a bunch of activities where you could go ahead and get more gear and stuff like that. This feels a whole lot more like it is testing new ideas and testing, you know, how do we add um, certain activities to the game that give people uh, uh, different things to do, right? And, and how do, and, and like, can we do set armor? And if we do set armor, it's, you know, how do we go about do it? Um, but they have the reckoning set it's, armor in Destiny 1, that's the thing. But not to this degree. Right, like I mean, I mean the set you armor. had the set armors in Destiny One, where like all the raid gear gave stacking perks for the uh, the raid that they came from. <clears throat> um, um, eventually, so each, yeah. Each, each each piece, starting with Vault of Glass, each piece of gear had a one like like the boots and the chest piece each had like a perk. That sure. That were like, only oh, active. if you're the relic class. carrier in an encounter, it would give you a bonus. Right. So it was, which they totally did away with this time around. Right. Like all the raids yeah. had none of that stuff. They didn't have. They had. Yeah. Um, so this, but this one, just because of the way that they have the bonuses themselves set up, it feels a whole lot more like trying to take that to the next level right like so they're actually trying to do something with it where they are um, pushing more right, towards ding, that ding, ding. <clears throat> um, which is cool and I, I kind of you know don't mind um, I think reckoning is a good activity that is requires a whole lot of teamwork and is nuts <laughs> um, uh. not long ago the cabal had us on the verge but, uh, of Return the faith. The reckoning itself, uh, you know, is a good activity, but the only thing that it gives is stuff for Gambit Prime. Let's dance. So it's been an interesting loop to do, but it's also one where you have to want to play Gambit Prime to get anything really out of Reckoning. Buckle up. Um, Hostiles income at the base. So yeah, it's 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 an interesting sort of Did I setup. Did for normal Gambit? <laughs> I think he did. Oh, okay, well. Uh, no, 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 because they added this map to... Oh, Gambit did Prime. they? Yeah, this is the new map this week. We would not be having enemies with this difficulty already if this was normal Gambit. We should all bank our Hostiles stuff at once, yes? Set. Yes. All right, well, let's let's go. I'm there to bank. Coming to. Just need to kill one thing so I can get one more moat. Watch it! You're shedding moats. Kill the blockers. In faith, income. Made it already, huh? Where is it? Over here somewhere. There he is. Are you kidding? All right. Cool. Good sacrifice. Yeah, he uh, rocketed himself. Okay. All right. I'm gonna wait until you guys get back with your remotes. But yeah, so this kind of requires a whole lot more coordination, um, having a team, having, you know, communicating everything like that is really good. Really? You just dropped a Taken on the other side. Hope you're proud. I, I am proud. Who's going? No one? I'll go. There's... Turts, turts, turts. Allies invading the other side. Uh. 
Raiders out. defeated. Bringing them back. Uh, one thousand voices. <coughs> Invaders here. Brace yourself. That guy has a one thousand voices. Just FYI. Where is he? Bye. Hey. Got him. Dirty. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I'm tossing gonna go. I value target identified. Get him. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I value target eliminated. Nice. I like how they're a little good. distracted. <clears throat> Whoa. There's only one round to this. Um, once the primeval is up, you have to burn it down as quick as you can. But the other thing is the damage phase. There's like a damage phase basically to the primeval. Shit. Oh boy. He's he's a steps just to see. Yeah, I saw him after he uh, golden gunned me. Yeah, I didn't. Ain't much point in getting shot. Invaders off the field. Yeah, I'm gonna mix them up here. I haven't played Destiny in like a week and it sure is showing. Yeah, I got two. The blocker is highly annoying. Change what the blockers are now too. Yeah. Hurts. You're close. Fill the bank, you get a prime evil. I'm just gonna go back. <clears throat> yeah, between the two of you. There you go. Kill that prime evil. All right, kill those envoys. Actually, what he meant to say. I got eyes on him. I think he's at a uh, base. If I had a guess. Yep, I hear it. Crap, you ran from me. Uh, he's in the middle there. Yep, I got sniped. Invader down, you're clean. Well, it doesn't matter. We don't have, yeah. We don't have any damage on the guy, so it doesn't really matter. It's too late. Uh, it depends on what. Your allies invade. That's yep. Way right. too late. Opposing team smashed their prime. It's okay. It's okay. I got a rare bounty. <clears throat> so I got the sentry set. Did you get a rock? Let's do another round. Okay. Uh, feel feels bad to uh, lose lose moats like that though. I had just uh, picked up a pack. The guy invaded and uh, sniped me before I even saw him. Yep. Oh, that's fun. 
some things about Gambit have not changed. Oh, and in, isn't in uh, Gambit Prime, doesn't the level difference count again? For PvP? Mm -hmm. Or, like, between, between you and invader, an invader or whatever? It counts. Yeah, yeah. See, in order to put my gambits, like, I have a power level similar to what you guys have, but if I put my gambit gear on, I drop pretty far. I don't know if it's worth it. <laughs> Honestly. like well, the, Worth the, it to uh, wear the gambit gear? Or? Yeah, because you don't get that much of a set bonus. Uh, if you wear enough pieces and pop a synth, you sure do. Well, okay. If you're doing that. Um, I, that is how I play Gambit Prime. But I can... Uh, toss some different stuff on. <clears throat> but yeah, so the sense that he got, um, and that you, know, you saw probably pop up for a couple folks during the match, which you can get for doing things like, you know, obviously when you invade, you'll get some for killing other uh, players. Depositing moats, you'll get collector sense. Killing a bunch of blockers, you'll get sentry. Reaper for killing, like, big enemies. Um, so as you gather those scents, there is now a synthesizer item in your inventory that you can then uh, turn those scents into, like, a moat of a particular armor set so collector sentry invader reaper um and there's basically three upgrade tiers to the synthesizer there's weak which is what you start off with and middling and then uh the next one which is going to be which i have not unlocked yet but uh, that's for the tier three that all then feeds into the reckoning which will show like you know next how to turn those scents into the armor and everything uh, you know, I, I really, out of everything that they've done here, just as far as the activity stuff, I really like the Reckoning. I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's a good activity that require that, you know, it's nice that they have something that can be matchmaking, even though matchmaking is um, uh, kind of can be tough if you're at level or slightly under level for those encounters, because it requires a whole lot of coordination. Um, to kind of successfully pull off as you go into the deeper tiers of the Reckoning. Um, but it is some of the best uh, co-op moments kind of I've had in this game in a, in a little while. So um, that's always fun. Outside of this, the other new thing that they did was, um, you know, Cabal ding ding, the yep. Ding 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 ding. Um, so outside of this, they they have uh, try that. Um, a new they have the thorn is back, and there's a whole exotic quest for that. Um, and there is a allegiance quest. Um, so you can choose to be a, either the Drifter or the Vanguard. And all that does is once you get the quest done, so far all it does is you get um, a weekly kind of power drop from them, basically. Um, which is nice, like it's just, hey, here's some free powerful gear. But uh, the... The story part of it is actually some of the more interesting story stuff that they've had in a while. Um, they are pushing more and more towards that idea of, hey, maybe everything isn't as it seems here. Maybe like it's not good to trust the traveler. Or, you know, there's things maybe you should be questioning. Um, which I think is, you know, it, it, th that kind of stuff was teased back when the game first was getting bandied about, but then never saw anything, like, after it went through everything that happened with that. Um, and they had to change just before, like, its release and stuff. 
Um, so it's good to kind of see some of that stuff starting to work its way back into all of this, and, and I'm definitely curious to see where they end up going with that. Um, go get another moat, Mike. I did. Good for you. Go drop a large blocker. Get almost a medium blocker. I'll go drop a small one just to keep him busy. Your allies invading. Blockers must die, brother. Son of a bitch. Your allies defeat. Bring them back. Invaders here. Brace yourself. Ah, oh, crap. <clears throat> steps? I was. Is he got steps? Yep, steps. Where did he go? I spot a high there he is. Give him hell. That's the same guy Your from the last match. The yep. <laughs> thousand voices. I tagged the high value target. Okay. That guy out. Oh, I see him. Okay. High value target is nice. down and out. Watch your back. Steps. Uh, run away. No, don't go near him, Panda. What are you doing? Uh, Panda. You brave dumb fool. What? Thousand voices is ridiculous. You fucking what? Oh my god. Invaders gone. Get them next time. We're not going to go anywhere this match. We're not even going to see our prime evil. Yeah, we are. We just have to have good invasions. Don't grab those moats. Where is he? Got it. Are you full up? Yep. Okay. What? Oh, he was still here? I thought somebody, uh... Yeah, I thought... Oh, I wouldn't have done that. I just lost... Right, I got a kill and... Almost got a kill, so maybe the other... Enemies will... Push them off. I'm gonna go invade. I had a super, but okay. Someone else did. <clears throat> Your 
Raiders down. But they scored two kills. Not bad. Nice. Almost time for our prime evil. Fill that bank up. Hostiles income at the base. Oh, cool. Another guy left. Well, this makes it even easier to do now. Not out of this yet. Kill that prime evil. Sweet. On the other side. Bond over here, huh? Portals up. Go take them out. Anybody got eyes? Yep. Where? He got me though. He's on the steps. <clears throat> where? Both Mike and I are on steps. Yeah, we're, we're in steps. I haven't seen him. Uh, whatever the right side is, sorry. It's okay. Good holding off on the damage there. phase. Wait, wait, go step into the portal. You're much stronger there, Nick. Oh. I got- I still have, like, full up heavy ammo to go. Do that. They, uh... They barely damaged. That's not gonna last for long. You get a bigger buff as you kill more of the envoys, so... At this point, depending on how many they've gone through. Um... Uh, I don't think they can figure it out. They're not shooting the envoys. <laughs> they're they're like hiding in the back over here. Well, because you're invading. Yeah, no, they were they were back there before I invaded. Uh oh. Like in the back Being steps. Invaded, I don't. Find them before they find you. I got nice. one. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, I'm just chilling. There's no point. Invaders out. You'll get just have him waste ammo. He's still up and he's heading towards the entrance, so don't run out. Oh, okay, never mind. I have, uh, I've had a heavy ammo though now. That's okay. That's okay. Still goblins. There's the other one. You got a super mic? Uh, I do not. But I, I can just go harass him. This is what the team Revel is. Don't kill this one just yet, Nick. Let's wait until he gets back. We're only gonna get one shot at this, so. Yep. Uh, it's gonna go. Don't poke your head out. Just yeah, anything. Oh, I see him. Where did he? He's in the middle. Oh, I couldn't make the warp, I tried! <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> he got me just as I was jumping into it. Alright, I got a couple. Um, if our thing is still up, I've got some Thunderlord ammo to make things interesting. Now let's see if we can bring this envoy down and see what we can do. I got you, Mike. Spamming a super there is helpful. It doesn't seem to do nearly as much as the buff and a kinetic. I shot, I shot my big super off uh, in the buff, and it did like 10%. All right. Anyway, that is Gambit Prime. Pretty good for being down a man, I would say. Yeah. Now we can go get another random. Check out the reckoning. So before we go into this though, no matter what the singe is, um, Mike, you're gonna want your well of radiance. Okay. And if you have your little special robes, those two. Uh, I have Phoenix Protocol, but I can't have it at a, an appropriate power level. So I'm, I am, at my best, I'm still under the power level for this. So, we <clears throat> weakening myself does not seem like a good idea. How much does it bring you down if you use it? Hold on. Let me pull a copy out of my collection. Oh, then never mind if you're going to pull it out of your collection. I mean, if I, I pull down my collection, it's it's better than the one that I would get out of my uh, bank. Gotcha. Well, let me at least see what it will pull me down to, because I'm 658 now. It pulls me to 656. That's not enough of a difference, really. And the other thing we want is someone so I with should a... wear it, or you don't care. Uh, you should wear it because I mean, so you're gonna have to pop your super every time we get to uh like a uh, capture zone. Okay. And Assuming Nick, that I have you are super energy every time. I mean, with your Phoenix protocol and the fact that I'm gonna be using my tethers and Nick's gonna be slamming stuff, you should. Um, Nick, you'll keep on your smashy smash fists. That works. Okay. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. I have to. Okay, anyway, I have to pick out. tier two. Yep. Oh Jesus, six seventy? Are you serious? Okay. Yeah, none I mean, of it'll us hurt. That criteria. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm, I'm 669. That doesn't count. You're not 670. That's like. <laughs> you know what this game does if you are off a threshold by even one. Yeah, but <laughs> it's it's different. Like the different tiers of this range, or that range. We'll be fine. Because again, this is one of the last words. Yeah. I mean, it depends on the rando that we get, but uh, it, a, a large part of this is for this for the second piece is just having a good job of controlling enemies and keeping your health up. So between a well of radiance and my tether, that should do it. And then Mike or Nick can smash a bunch of stuff um the other thing is so keep your with your Jotun uh Mike 
when we get there. So first, the first area is the same. It's it's just like in tier one. When we get to the bridge, <coughs> we'll have an area to capture initially. There will be a bunch of shadow thralls that I'll tether and we'll kill them. And when we move to the second area of the bridge, there's going to be harder enemies that spawn in addition to all the shadow thralls. But there's also going to be snipers that spawn on the outside, like way in the distance. So your fusion rifle sniper that you got is going to be good for taking those down. My Polaris Lance is higher power than that, if you think that I should hey, that works. That. Yeah, I mean, they basically we need a dedicated sniper killer because those things have got to go. Alright, I'll put the Lance on. And then when we get to the third part, we'll have to change stuff up again, but not like change probably some of our gear, but... So if you're wondering what was in the Drifter's floating rock... It's a place with balls! You shoot the balls, they all fall out. It's great. It's another dimension. Just like the Beastie Boys said. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's a weak uh -huh. mode. Yeah, this is tier two. Get that middling mode. Oh yeah, you can put the... Raid banner down. And also... Uh, I think it's like right there. There's a little golden egg that you can collect for some lore. What can you teach the Alright. So this requires us, as it says, to rapidly defeat enemies as a group. The more enemies we kill quickly, the better we do here. Snipers! Yeah, I've been so fun. I hate their shield, I'm gonna get ya. Thank you. I hate that this has blackout. I thought they, oh, they took glass out of it. That's right. Yeah. So what do these little crystals that are kinda all over the place do, if anything? Or are they just for decoration? Nothing. They're just decoration. They're just there because they look shiny and cool. Yikes, sniped. There are snipers up there. there are snipers on the ridge. Some knockback. If you ever want me to use my well, just call for it because. Uh, yeah, I'd rather you keep it for the next part. So we need it. me off, you son of a bitch. Survive! Yeah. Alright, here we go. Now, do we get part? now we all got a group up here because it doesn't start until we actually go into the thing. So best to group all up, not run off. Their awareness spreads everywhere. Let's just use 
always draw inexorably back to this system. Lord. All right. <clears throat> Got everyone. Cool. We're all here. And my super is up too. So I should pop Maybe. my super here. Wait until the next one. This one. Yeah. area and then pop it as soon as you get there. Uh, Nick, go ahead and pop your super. Start killing stuff. Try to get our buddy in. Probably oh. should end the nose. I'm back at five. Oof. Oh, wow. things exploded. Okay. Yeah, the shield guys are sucks for this. With alert, with blackout on. Wow, we lost. Yep. Dang. Cool. Yeah, that was about right. I feel. No. <laughs> I mean, well, for first time, yeah. For. <coughs> yeah. It doesn't matter. I was your level when I beat this the first time with a group of randos that were lower level than Nick and I are. Well, I don't have a mode anymore. Yeah, you do. Just go collect your loot. You don't get the moat you wagered back. Yes, you do. Pretty sure you don't. What? Well, why Pretty does it say you're wagering it? Because you're <laughs> just putting it in. If it doesn't it take in. it away, why does it say it's wagering it? <laughs> I'm not here to answer the question, man. I'm just here to say it doesn't take it away. <laughs> All right, let's give it another shot. Yeah, one more go. The uh, so much of this kind of depend on the modifiers you get. Also, then dictates a little bit more kind of uh, the go that you're gonna have of this. Having shield enemies on blackout is not good. Yeah, but Polaris Lance is really good for this. Yeah. I hate the warpy guys. Minotaurs? It, it, just any of the guys that warp around. Like these thralls that just shift everywhere. If you're a warper, Nick, officially, not a fan.
Oh, nice. His death explosion killed me. So, and, and one of the things too, Mike, is probably when it gets up to about like 95, if you can watch the little bar filling in the middle, head to the next area. All right. The more time I spend with them, the less I understand humanity. Hey, there's heavy ammo here. Thank you. Head to the next area, Mike. What? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I don't want to deal with no taking ogres. I did not sign up for that. It's Ogre. Playtime is Ogre, my friends. That's right. God damn. Uh, yeah, five, four, two, two, one. Yep, it's done. Ogres also suck. Yeah, that is a bad pull. Well. Yeah, that's gonna be it. I'm not gonna fight that again. Not right now. Oh, so fun. It is fun. I, I I like it, but that is not something I'm willing to like public. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> now I definitely lost my moat. Well. Cool. 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 So yeah, so that's. I mean, that's a large part of the. Uh, uh, new content is uh, Gamma Prime and Reckoning. Uh, like I said, there's the new Exotic Quest, there's the Vanguard Alliance or Allegiance mission, which so far has just resulted in getting new powerful stuff from Drifter or Akora each week. And if you've started with the Vanguard, then the Drifter will say stuff to you like, How's it going, Snitch, inside of Gambit? Yeah. And if you side with Drifter, Shax will be like, The helmet stayed on, you betraying SOB. <laughs> <laughs> While you're inside of Crucible. Uh, so, I, I'm curious to see where it goes, just because like when you pick up those, those Allegiance quests, they, they seem to hint at, hey, this is going to have an impact on future content. But so far, none of that's been shown. Fair enough, this is like two weeks in. Mm -hmm. uh, to the new stuff so you know just like with black armory like they didn't even release the last forge until a month after that came out and they had a whole puzzle thing around all that so i'm sure there's going to be more stuff going on mm -hmm. uh <clears throat> overall though i think destiny 2 is in a really good spot for like if you hopped in with forsaken and you're like, eh, I'm going to wait and pick up the annual pass. I think there's enough content between the forges and what they did here that there's always something for you. Like, I I now, anytime I hop in, I'm like, oh, I can go do this. I can do, go do that. Like a bunch of PVE stuff, do strikes, whatever. And always feel like I'm getting something out of it and progressing. Um, the forges, I think, are really fun to do. Uh, the reckoning, I really enjoy. And it's one of the new activities. Like I said, it's very cooperative. It requires a lot of coordination and, and yeah. teamwork from folks to clear. 
Yeah, I uh -huh. would want to go in with like a four stack and puzzle that and do that until you know we're more powerful than it. That just seems I mean, like uh, you're, that seems like <laughs> one bad rando away from failure if you're right on the edge. Yeah, I mean it, it requires a lot of, you know, like if you're on the edge of it, then you know it definitely requires a. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know. There's no good way to say this, but it requires like a skill of play that like if you're in it and you're like, okay, we're gonna do this and like you're psyching yourself up like the same way as like you would do for raids, right? Like okay, we're yeah. gonna do this, we're gonna coordinate and stuff like that, then it's fine. If you just stream in on a you know, and you're just like we're here, we're just showing stuff off, then it requires a whole lot more focus. Uh right. but you know, it's it's good, like and and I haven't done the tier three stuff yet just because that's like six ninety and I'm nowhere near that power level. To right. even try and start attempting that but um yeah i think it's i think it's pretty cool i just wish that the reckoning stuff had a little bit more to it as far as like if they were going to go with some of this set stuff i'd like to see maybe some of the gamut prime armor have a bonus inside of reckoning like and, and bring back some of the things that they did with vault of glass and the raids there right like that would make sense for them to do yeah um but uh yeah as it is, it's okay. just uh, it's only Gambit Prime armor that you get out of Reckoning. So you know, it's if you enjoy Gambit and enjoy playing Gambit Prime, I think that's really cool. Again, it kind of brings a whole new level of coordination and teamwork to that mode. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's everything so far in Season of the Drifter. Awesome. Well, thanks for uh, tagging along. Thanks for showing stuff off, and we'll be back next week with something. <laughs> Division 2, maybe. Maybe, maybe yeah. That's how, Nick, speaking Nick of... Gonna be gone? Nick's going to be gone. I'll be gone. All right. But we might have that. We'll see. All right. Well, we'll see how things go. We'll see you next week. <laughs>